In today's video, I will show you how to submit application for the ECFMD certification. This will be a series of videos on how to create an account with ECFMD to apply for the USMLE exams. I have shown how to get an USMLE ID in my part 1 of my previous video. If you haven't checked that yet, please click the link on the description below or on the top. If you go to ECFMG website, this will pop up. Click on online services. Then this will pop up and then click interactive web application also known as IWA. Now it says login access to ECFM this interactive web applications. Then log in using your USMLE ID and password. Once you log in, you will see it's asking for submit an application for the ECFM certification. It has the online part. That's what we're going to do today. And then you have to complete the certification of identification form or form 186 that you also have to notarize using notary cam. I will discuss about form 186 in my next video. Now click on submit an application for ECFMD certification. Then this will pop up. It basically says this is not an application for the examination. This application for the ECFMD certification. But remember you have to go through this process if you want to apply for the examination. Then click begin. Now you will see your name is already here. If it is correct, then click yes and then next. Now it will be your date of birth. If it is correct, click yes and then next. Same for gender, your email address, your medical education, whether you are a graduate or student. If you are a graduate, click graduate and yes. Now it's asking for more information and confirming that your medical school is listed in World Directory of Medical Schools. Then click next. Now we are at the very end and it's asking for consent. You will see few check boxes here. If you scroll down, you will see more check boxes and a lot of information for you. I would encourage you to go through these informations. If you further scroll down, at the bottom you will see check box for the certification and it says all the information that we have provided is true and accurate to the best of our knowledge. Then click next. Now it's making sure we have intentionally selected all these boxes, check boxes. Yes we did and click OK and then next. Now it's showing the summary of the application. It's time to pay for the application. Continue to pay with. The current fee is 150 US dollars. You can pay using your credit card. Put all the credit card information here and then authorize this transaction. Once you are done with your payment, it will show the confirmation that means you have submitted the online part of your application. You will also receive an email from ECFMG. As I said earlier, after the online part of your application, you have to submit certification of identification form, also commonly known as form 186. Otherwise, your application will remain incomplete. In my next video, I will give you information about form 186, how it looks, how can you notarize using notary cam. Till then, stay connected. That's all for today. If you find this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel like this video, share with your friends and turn on the notification bell icon so that you do not miss any of my new videos. Thank you so much for watching.